and don't be deceived by what you have as for my children I prepared their future who told you that don't be deceived by that <laughs> I work hard I make sure I built I I I, 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 I prepared their future I left them something when I died they will have something how many times you see ask the history many wealth gone after the owners are gone and that child that the wealth was left for now is on the street he's homeless so take care of someone's child and Allah will preserve your children after you don't be deceived by what you have don't be deceived by the preparation thinking that you're preparing their future just fear Allah and do the right thing make those offers smile put smile in their faces and Allah will preserve your children after your death brothers and sisters in faith the orphans are crying what are we doing about it if we were to do things right no orphan in Islam should cry <laughs> I repeat I repeat if we were to do things right to put things in their place no orphan in Islam will ever cry of hunger or loneliness <laughs> no orphan in Islam should cry because we have Allah and we have Muhammad Rasulullah uh, the teacher of mercy وما أرسلك إلا رحمة للعالمين. Allah sent him as a mercy to humankind, and he, صلى الله عليه وسلم, taught us what mercy. He taught us and urged and commanded us, all those who love him, to take care of the orphan, to wipe the tears of the orphan. To make the orphan smile. And I bear witness, our beloved Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is Allah's last and final messenger. My dear brother and my dear sister, the orphans are crying. Will you wipe their tears? The orphan is crying. Will you wipe his tears? The orphan is hungry. Will you feed him? <coughs> the orphan is lonely. Will you rub his hair and hug him? The orphan is homeless. Will you provide him shelter? The orphans are suffering. Will you ease their pains? Brothers and sisters in faith, the orphan is crying and what are you doing about it we love our children and we work day and night to provide for them we want them to be happy we provide them food and shelter and medicine we take good care of them we love them so much so we do everything to make sure they are comfortable but subhanallah same goes to that child that often his parents used to love him they used to do everything for him but something separated them and that is called the destroyer of pleasure what separated them the destroyer of pleasure qala rasulullah akfiru min dhikri hadim alladhats Remember often the destroyer of pleasures. The destroyer of pleasure separated that child, that orphan, from his father. He separated them. Now the child turn around, he cannot see daddy. The child turn around, he cannot see mommy. He is an orphan. Who is al yatim Man faqada abahu aw ummahu aw faqada kilayhima wa lam yutim al hulum Who is an orphan? An orphan is he who lost his father or lost his mother 
all lost both of them. This is the orphan, and they are crying. What are you doing about it? We are happily living with our children. They smile when they turn around and see us. We smile when we turn around and see them. We are happy when they are happy. When they come and ask us for something, we give it to them because we love them. That child has no one to ask. What are you doing about it? What are you doing about it? Our religion, brothers and sisters, is a religion of love and compassion because our Lord Allah is the most merciful. And he commanded us in the Quran to show mercy. To show mercy to the orphan. وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِيثَاقَ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ لَا تَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا وَذِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى وَالْمَسَاكِينَ Remember when we took the covenant with the children of Israel saying لَا تَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Worship none except Allah وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be kind to your parents وَذِي الْقُرْبَى And your close relatives وَالْيَتَامَى Be kind to the orphan. This is our religion. Because our Lord is أَرْحَمُ الرَّحِمِينَ he is the most merciful of the merciful. So he commanded us to take good care of the orphan, to wipe the tears of the orphan, to ease the pain of the orphan, to make the orphan comfortable, to provide shelter to the orphan. Are we doing so? ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم قبل المشرق والمغرب ولكن البر من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر والملائكة والكتاب والنبيين وآت المال على حب ذوي القربى واليتامى It is not righteousness that you face east or the west but righteousness is he who believes in Allah and the last day and the angels and the books of Allah and the prophets and he gave in charity despite your love for the money you work hard and you sweat for that money but despite your love for the money you gave it you give in charity to the poor, to the needy, to the orphan. But righteousness is he who believes in Allah. And the last day, and the angels, and the books, and the book, and the prophets. And he gave in charity despite his love for him. Miskina, the poor. Wayatima. The will kurba, the close relative. Your close relative, your relative. The will kurba. When yatama. And you give it also to yatama. The orphans. The orphan is crying. Are we doing so? Fid dunya wal akhirah wa yasalunaka anil yatama kul islah lahum khair. They ask you about the orphans. What should we do for them? Tell them, making them feel good, taking good care of them, making them feel at home is best. Are we? Are we? يَسْأَلُونَكَ مَاذَا يُنْفِقُونَ قُلْ مَا أَنْفَقَتُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ فَلِلْوَالِدَيْنِ 
والأقربين واليتامى They ask you, what should they give in charity? Tell them whatever you give in charity should be for the parents, for your close relatives, and for the orphan. His father is no more. The mother is gone. Or both of them are gone. Your child will see you and smile and say, Daddy, when he turn around, he doesn't have anyone to call Daddy. Will you be his Daddy? Will you rub his hair and hug him and feed him and sit him next to you? This is our religion. This is Islam. وَعَبُدُ اللَّهِ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا And worship Allah. Do not associate anything with him. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be kind to your parents. وَبِذِي الْقُرْبَى Be kind to your close relative. وَالْيَتَامَى And be kind to the orphan. Do you have an orphan that you're taking care of? Or is only you and your children? That's it. And you know there's an orphan who is crying and you're not doing anything. You're not stretching your hand. You're not wiping their tears. You're not making them comfortable. Don't you think what happened to their father can happen to you one day? And no, no, not can happen. Will happen to you one day. Because there's no doubt about it, right? No doubt about having it like that. No doubt about it. No doubt about death. And don't be deceived by what you have. As for my children, I prepared their future. Who told you that? Don't be deceived by that. <laughs> I work hard, I make sure, I built, I, 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 I prepared their future, I left them something. When I die, they will have something. How many times you see, ask the history. Many wealth gone after the owners are gone. And that child that the wealth was left for, now is on the street. He's homeless. So take care of someone's child, and Allah will preserve your children after you. Don't be deceived by what you have. Don't be deceived by the preparation, thinking that you're preparing their future. Just fear Allah and do the right thing. Make those orphans smile. Put smile in their faces, then Allah will preserve your children after your death. Brothers and sisters in faith, the orphans are crying. What are we doing about it? If we were to do things right, no orphan in Islam should cry. <laughs> I repeat, I repeat. If we were to do things right, to put things in their place, no orphan in Islam will ever cry of hunger or loneliness. <laughs> no orphan in Islam should cry. Because we have Allah and we have Muhammad Rasulullah. Uh, the teacher of mercy. وَمَا أَوْسَلَّكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah sent him as a mercy to humankind. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, taught us what? Mercy. <laughs> he taught us and urged and commanded us, all those who love him, to take care of the orphan. To wipe the tears of the orphan. To make the orphan smile. And he said, Listen to Sayyiduna Rasulullah. Arrahimuna yarhamhum rahman The merciful are shown mercy by the most merciful. The merciful are shown mercy by the most merciful. So, irhamu man fil ard. Have mercy on those on the earth. The one above will have mercy on you. Allah will have mercy on you. This is our prophet. So have mercy on that orphan. You know they are there. But what you do is only you and your child. You and your children. And you are leaving them. Some of these orphans are even close relatives. Maybe he is the son of your brother. 
or the son of your sister. They are there. You know they are suffering. They don't go to school. No education. No shelter. No food. No proper water to drink. And your children are wasting food. And you think it's okay? How long is that going to last? How long? How long is that going to last? But by taking care of those children, those orphans, Allah will preserve your children. Listen to Sayyiduna Rasulullah, the teacher of mercy. He said, خير بيت في المسلمين بيت فيه يتيم يحسن إليه يا الله. The best home, the best home in the Muslims are homes in which they are there are orphans well treated who are well treated. So if you want your home to be the best home, get an orphan and put it in that house, and your home will be the best in the sight of Allah. Uh, look, just bring an orphan and mix him or mix her with your children and see the barakah, <laughs> see the blessing. Believe me, blessing will start coming. Allah will start showering you with blessings. Your children will be blessed. Your home will be blessed. You will be blessed. You will be loved by Allah and his messenger. Try it. <laughs> Get an orphan. Bring him closer to you. Hug that orphan. Promise that orphan, inshallah, I will do my best to take care of you. I will provide, inshallah, for you. Allah said to you, وَأَتُوهُمْ مِمَّا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي آتَاكُمْ The money that you have, the wealth that you have belongs to Allah. And Allah said, وَأَتُوهُمْ مِمَّا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي آتَاكُمْ And give them from the wealth of Allah that he gave to you. <laughs> what you have. Allah said, I'm the one who... Brother, brother, don't you even think... Sometimes, if Allah gives you a wealth, do you know it is because an orphan or a poor person that Allah gave it to you? Allah is blessing you because of him. Because Allah wants you to work for him, to work for Allah, so Allah will give it to you and you will become the distributor. Now, the moment that you want to keep it, Allah will take it from you. You're not a good worker. You're not a good employer. I employed you to give. And now you're trying to keep it to yourself. Uh -uh. So Allah is blessing you because of him. Because of that orphan. So stretch your hand and give. They are crying. A brother, my dear sister, I know you love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, you love him. I love him so much. We love him more than everything. More than everything. More than the breath. More than the oxygen that we breathe in. We love him. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We will give everything for him. And we want, because we want to be with him, right? Now listen. If you want to be with Sayyiduna Rasulullah, he said to tell you, Ana wa kafilu liyateen fil jannah kahatayn. I and the one who is taking the responsibility, the one who is taking care of the orphan, are going to be like this in jannah. Like how, Ya Rasulullah? Listen, he pointed his blessed as sababatu wal wusta. His forefinger and his and his middle finger. He said, You and him will be like this in Jannah. Don't you want to be closer to Rasulullah? Oh, you do? Then get an orphan. Wipe the tears of that orphan. Make that orphan smile. Feed that orphan. Provide for that orphan. Take him to school. Give him a good education. Give him a good religious education. Make him smile. Bring him together with your children. And sometimes your children cannot even differentiate between him and them because they are all well taken care of. And see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do for you. And the Prophet is waiting for you in Jannah. Allahumma ameen.
الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله All thanks are due to Allah Brother and my dear sister May Allah open your hearts to help the orphan Help If you are listening to me now A brotherly advice Please In your life Get an orphan and I'm telling you this, Wallahi, because I love you. <laughs> the blessing in it is unbelievable. <laughs> Allah will bless you. Just find an orphan and say, you are my responsibility. And see what Allah will do for you. May Allah provide for us all. May Allah protect us. Brothers, Majid Siddiq at Murkaz al we are teaching, learning and teaching. This is what we do. And we pray may Allah continue to bless us. Our students, they take courses. And some of them, alhamdulillah, they are qualified to get an ijaza. When we say an ijaza, this is certificate. And only in Islam you will find this. That a teacher will give a certificate to his student and he will tell the student, I took it from my teacher and my, my teacher also took it from his teacher all the way. Some of our students completed a course on the science of the recitation of Quran, on the science of Hadith, and in Fiqh al-Maliki, al-Akhdari. We are going to present them certificates tomorrow, inshallah. You coming is an encouragement to them, letting them know what they are doing is the best, and you support them, so we are inviting the public. Come and witness and inshallah not taking more than two hours the program is done we're starting from maghrib to aisha and that's it so we start five inshallah to al aisha we're done it's going to be a short ceremony inshallah we pray may allah bless us and bless our children and bless our students ya allah we're preparing them inshallah allah make them better than us we want them to know their identity and know who they are. So please come, join us tomorrow, inshallah, at five o'clock. May Allah continue to bless you. Allah mahdina wa hadibina wa jalna sabab al liman hitada. Allah mahdina wa hadibina wa jalna sabab al liman hitada. Allah mahdina wa hadibina wa jalna sabab al liman hitada. Allahumma ansur ikhwana na fi Palestine. Allahumma ansur ikhwana na mustaba fi na fi Gaza. Ya Rab, ya Qahar. يا قوي اللهم انصرهم على اعدائهم يا الله اللهم عز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم دمر اعداءك اعداء الدين حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير لا اله الا الله ولا نعبد الا اياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون لا اله الا الله ولا نعبد الا اياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره المشركون لا اله الا الله ولا نعبد الا اياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره من كره ولو كره الكافرون اللهم لك الحمد زدنا ايمانا طهر قلوبنا يا حي يا قيوم يا حي يا قيوم يا حي يا قيوم يا حي يا قيوم بلغنا رمضان بلغنا رمضان يا حي يا قيوم بلغنا رمضان اشف مرضانا ارحم موتانا اغفر لابائنا وامهاتنا اللهم نور قبورهم يا الله اللهم رب لنا اولادنا اللهم انا نسالك حسن الخاتمه احسن ختامنا احسن ختامنا احسن ختامنا لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله it is friday Say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ahli Muhammad. Don't forget, say it as much as you can. It is a blessing. Allah will continue to bless you. Wa salli Allahumma wa sallim wa barik. Ala abdika wa nabiyika Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa kumu ila salatikum.